Hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ and everyone watching this program, Hindus, Muslim, Buddhist, and uh, atheist, Jewish, Christians, everybody, welcome. Welcome. Um, just preparing <laughs> one uh, class after another. I hope you guys are learning. I hope um, everybody is getting something from each program. And uh, yeah, but just, you know, especially Christians, please pray for me. Pray for me that there is a whole lot of attack. Anyway, uh, God is with us. Let the Quran speak. Let the Quran speak. Today, here is Dr. Shabir Ali recommending us the Bible which we have to look into. So these are, here are two. Yeah, the, previously I showed you that the, this uh, false Catholic book, Catholic edition, which is full of errors and, you know, uh, a whole lot of problems, and then uh, false information. And then, um, and also now, he's uh, recommending us the Bible, the Holy Quran, and science. Let the Quran speak. Let the Quran speak. The Bible, the Quran, and science. The Holy Bible, the Quran, and science. First, let me uh, say something about um, who is uh, Dr. Shabir Ali. Here is Amazon. Amazon. This is my uh, my account. Amazon. One o one clear clear contradictions in the Bible. 1988. By whom? By Shabir Ali, Dr. Shabir Ali. 101 contradictions in the Bible. 101 contradictions in the Bible. By whom? Clear contradiction in the Bible. Wow. What are you guys doing? 101 contradictions in the Bible. Uh, by whom? By Dr. Shabir Ali. Dr. Shabir Ali is teaching us that uh -huh, there, is, there is, there is, there is, there is contradiction in the Bible. In the Bible. What is the other one? Okay, let me show you. I have another, um, well, I think, let me see. Um, let me go back and then uh, find out the other one. Uh, uh, 101 contradictions by, uh, you can buy it, it is 50% off. It is where? In the, uh, uh, in uh, this bookstore, Barnes & Novels. In Barnes & Novels, you can buy it. It is, the Bible is full of contradiction. I showed you, um, uh, I showed you uh, previously the website which says 101 contradiction. So all this is Shabir Ali criticizing the Bible, showing the people that Islamic page. The 101 contradictions of the Bible and it, it changes, it changes now and then. 101 contradictions in the Bible by this Islam, Islamic board, Islamic board. So this is a man, now he is recommending us, uh, recommending us, uh -huh. let's listen, let's enjoy, enjoy please, enjoy. Yeah, enjoy. It's called The Bible, The Quran, and uh, Science. Uh, this is a book that has been with me uh, for uh, decades now, and... Uh, which I've been referring to again and, and again. Uh, this book is very important in that uh, it, uh, in the 1970s, it set uh, many Muslim uh, activists like myself uh, on a mission to uh, let the world know about the Quran. Uh, the, the, the basic thesis of the book, which was written in French and now translated into English, uh, is that the Quran mentions uh, a wide variety of uh, natural phenomena. And uh, in speaking about these natural phenomena, the Quran uses language that would have been understood by people in the 7th century. 
And at the same time, when modern scientists uh, look at the same expressions, they find that these expressions uh, uh, do not in any way contradict the established uh, findings of modern science, uh, which is remarkable because if the Quran said nothing about natural phenomena and only spoke about moral precepts, then of course uh, there will be no clash between the Quran and modern science. But for the Quran to be speaking about so many different uh, issues of natural uh, phenomena um, and, and not be wrong uh, from a scientific point of view in anything that it says, then uh, this is a rather remarkable finding. Uh, so many Muslims like myself began to promote this sort of information and uh, use it to uh, help people to come closer uh, to the Quran as the book of uh, Allah. Uh, so what, what else does this book um, go into? It, uh, it shows that the, the expressions which are used in the Quran were uh, misunderstood for many uh, centuries. We can find in Muslim commentaries on the Quran written in Arabic in the classical period that uh, the commentators themselves did not quite understand the verses of the Quran. Uh, sometimes they just professed their ignorance and said, you know, when we don't know, it is our duty to remain silent. Because the Quran is speaking about something and it's not so clear what, what, what to understand about it. it well, uh, I've said two things here. One I've said is that the Quran is, was understandable to the 7th century Arab. And uh, now I'm saying, well, you know, some things they didn't understand. So to clarify that, uh, we can say that the message of the Quran uh, it was understandable to the 7th century Arab. And uh, when the Quran mentions something of a scientific nature, people may have understood some of the... Well, he's continuing about the Bible too, but I don't have time to <laughs> just, you know, uh, if, uh, so, uh, go ahead. And uh, you have to understand that the Western scholars are under the influence of the Arabs because Saudi, how many, I think 32 billion dollar or something like that one guy he, he was going to uh, uh, yeah I think he's gonna uh, for yes you can search it 32 billion dollar to advance Islam Islam so the Western scholar they need money and then they get uh, from this uh, Arab uh, which Arab uh, uh, oil a refiner and uh, all these uh, Arab, uh, you know, uh, rich Arab people, governments. So especially the universities in the United States have uh, a whole lot of chunk of money from the Arabs. So they don't want to say anything negative about it. And then they put it uh, with the Bible together. So this is a, a deception. Uh, uh, a deception, a deception, a deception. Let me read one book for you and then uh, you will be okay. Um, and such, uh, this is uh, Daniel 11, 32, and such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. Flattering the Quran, flattering the Quran, flattering other, you know, uh, wicked, flattering evolution, evolution, flattering something which is against the Bible by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit. I want you to be on the side of history, to stand up and get your Bible and stand up against this. The, the, the wicked plot of the devil, which is working in the academia and then working in the religion, Islam, and uh, uh, scholars, you know, scholars. And they that understand among the people shall instruct money. I'm trying to instruct you. I learn a lot from, the, from God, and I'm trying to instruct you. Yet they shall fall by this word. Wow. What is by flame, by captivity, and by spoil, many days. Wow, it's bad, really. It's bad. When I read this one, it just breaks my heart. But it is what God says. Many will be gullible. Many will be, you know, 
uh, uh, food for the sword, the sword, and then the flame, they will be burnt by capti captivity and by spoil, will be spoiled for this evil religion and for evil ideology, which comes in different forms and in different areas of uh, fields of philosophy. So this is what the Bible warns us, that there are people who are going to understand and then, you know, stand up, but there are who, even by learning, they still will be the food for the sword and the flame, uh, wood, uh, firewood for the flame and the captivity, uh, uh, spoil, uh, will spoil in many days. So where do you want to be? Where do you want to be? Do you want to be on this, on those, the side? And you know, uh, even it says in, uh, in the book of Daniel 12, uh, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars are forever and ever. Yes, I want you to be like that. Don't be deceived by Islam. Don't be deceived by ac academia. Don't be deceived by professors, by scientists. Don't be deceived by, by, by you know, religious religious scholars, don't be deceived by anything. How can you still escape that? Stick to the word. Stick the word. Get the word of God, the true translation, and stand up, read, pray, and spend your time with Jesus, with God, so that you can be, you can stand against the evil power in the day of, you know, until the day of Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching and uh, learning. May the Lord richly bless you. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.